Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and we are on to the rift for Sam Houston State University versus North Central College, game one. The Sam Houston coming out with a pretty interesting draft, obviously, as we didn't get a chance to examine the draft. The Riot client crashed, as all great games do, or as Riot Spaghetti Code is prone to doing. But nonetheless, we're going to have Texas A there on the Tom Kench. Dragonks on that Zen House, so covering a little bit of coverage for the Tom Kench. Puppy Cat on the Victor, so another mage. Zodiac. On to Zeri, so that patented pick that started, we see, we're starting to see a lot with the last couple of patches. And Lyra's Tome on that rail. Met on the other side by this North Central College comp. That Aatrox in the top lane, a bit of a, a wary pick in these days. Just not as strong as it used to be. Doesn't quite have the dueling power that a lot of other top laners has. And when you're looking at what you're sacrificing in terms of CC for damage, that Aatrox really doesn't have a whole lot of, obviously, Aatrox a little bit lacking there. But it's going to be rounded out with the Vi and the Nico. So plenty of CC there to kind of cover for what that Aatrox might be lacking. And in the bot lane, Refinery and Scuttlediff playing that Sivir Nautilus combo. I like the acquisition there of the Nautilus with the Sivir. Lots of follow-up, obviously, her. Uh, Sivir popping the ult allows Nautilus to kind of get a little bit of a faster engage. And just with the amount of CC that he has built in his kit, it's tremendously difficult to stop that champion from initiating fights or even peeling. Um, I mean, again, Nautilus is just a great all-around support, but is going to have difficulty into the rel. Um, rel is kind of seen as one of those answers to Nautilus just because it does kind of stop some of the engages. And rel is extremely tanky, something that this North Central College comp is really going to need when you're looking at the overall strength of the Zeri. The, the matchup I'm most interested, though, in this match is going to be that top lane matchup between Texas A and Damia, simply because the Antrox is, is not the pick that it used to be in terms of its early laning strength. You know, yes, it does have some okay damage and its early trading patterns are all right, but you're looking at a champion that suffers a lot once you start to get to the mid to the late game when you're looking at the items it's building. You know, you're looking at maybe it's building armor shred, just trying to build a, you know, a bruiser kind of build, but it's going to be outmatched by what you're going to see on the Tom Kench, who just has more health and is the better champion for that. But nonetheless, they're still going to have some of this early training power as Tex A just ticking over to level two. So Aatrox having a little bit of the advantage there in terms of XP and in terms of pacing. So for Sam Houston, it's going to be pivotal for them to try and get the Zeri and the Victor online. I mean, if you're looking at late game, that's going to be their carries. Um, good mid lane, mid games covered, sorry, by Puppy Cat. Um, just between the 15 to 25 minute mark, just the damage that Victor's going to build as Puppy Cat getting ganked there in the mid lane. It's just going to be a pressure gank, though, just to apply a little bit of force to force Puppy Cat underneath the turret. Drake ganks a little bit late on that one as we're seeing by and I'm back towards that top side. And this is what I was talking about, trying to get some of these early laners ahead for Sam Houston. Texai taking this trade. Dama getting him down. Doesn't have Ignite, though, so Texai... Texas A, sorry, just going to hang out underneath the turret. Puppy Cat trading with Zed in the mid lane, though. This is a trade that Nico wins early. Again, Victor going to take some time to come online, and that's honestly the name of the game for Sam Houston, just biding their time, waiting, seeing what they can get. Dragank's looking for a gank here, though. He's going to flash forward. Domina, can he get it? He's going to get the pullback. First blood is eating turn aggro, though, so this should just be the gold going back over to Dragank's as he is going to get the knockup, and he is going to finish it off. Sorry, the W. Win becomes lightning. Sam Houston, one for one trade so far. Lee Warden may be cut out of here, though. Puppy Cat getting bursted down. Lee Warden trying to find his way out. Is going to meet up with Zed. We'll see if they want to try and fight for this scuttle. Scuttle diff. Going to land the hook on top of Lyros. Slow going to come out. Lyros is going to jump all the way out. And the Dark Harvest proc going to a refinery. So a bit of a trade win there for North Central College. And that's going to kind of dictate the pacing right now is if they can start these fights because if Zodiac and Lyros are able to pick the fights on their terms, able to jump in on top of Refinery and prevent Nautilus from getting the engages off, this is a lane that can go Sam Houston's way, but right now the early power is going to go the way of North Central College, especially when that rel is dismounted. Very difficult to try and pick fights on your own. Now that she is mounted, though, gives her options. So... It looks like that scuttle fight in the top lane was won by Sam Houston. Texai has flash, so he can't get out of this. Conqueror proc, though, for Damia. Can get this if he wants to. Gonna get stunned up, still trading autos, but eating a lot of minion auto attacks. So gonna have to move out of there before he loses too much more health. Dragank's a little bit of ways off, so neither jungle are gonna be able to necessarily affect this matchup very quickly, though Lee Warden is not backing yet. Dre going to try and back for the first couple of pieces that he needs. Or Jungling item. Interested to see Sam Houston. So, a, a little bit of the problem that they're going to have right now, too, is Sam Houston, across both their squads, both Sam Houston White and Sam Houston Orange, is uh, Texas A maybe dying here. He's going to die, just the auto attack. The reset on the Q not even needed. 
North Central College winning this top matchup. As Puppy Cat forced to flash out, follow flash by Zeds is taking down. Puppy Cat going to drop. North Central College starting to come out with an early lead right now. Three to one, starting to be a little bit of a gold advantage. Bot lane trying to see if they can get something done. Dragangs is here. If they can stall long enough to get him in this fight, could be a good trade. Scuttle is ticking down. It's going to flash out. Cleanse. Not blown. I'm not sure what that was. Cleanse, no, it was a heal blown by Refinery. So a flash and a defensive summoner spell blown there by this North Central College. But ultimately not losing flash on the ADC, which is the most important part. You can always have... Nautilus peel out with a hook, but very difficult to recover. Sivir not having flash, at least prior to six. And then once she reaches level six, she'll have some safety, but very difficult to survive that prior. As Dragank still waiting around here, is looking for a gank. But the Warden is there. If a fight kicks off, this could be turned back into Sam Houston's face. Lyra's going to jump in. Spell shoot coming out for Refinery. Dragank is here. Scuttle Diff, no flash. So he's going to drop here. There's going to be one pick up there for Sam Houston. Q on Refinery. If he gets the knockup, could be killed, but should be fine. Refinery just going to walk underneath the turret. Sam Houston just trying to trade a little bit of tempo and make sure that this gold stays fairly even. Again, for them, so long as they're not going down too much, sorry, too far in the mid and early game, they should be fine. Especially when you're looking at champions like Zary and Victor, who really do start to come online about the 20 25 minute mark in scale. Tremendously well into the late game, so Sam Houston not necessarily in a rush. Dexai is going to get the devour straight through the chain, going to try and throw him back into the turret. Grounded. Damia going to eat that turret shot. So even health trade here, though. Texai forced to flash out, though, popping the gray health. That's ults expended for Damia, though, with nothing really to show for it except a little bit of a health trade there on top of Texas A. Let's see where these junglers want to go next. Lorden, I think, is looking to try and get this mid laner uh, on for his team ahead. I think just by allowing Nico to roam, you can start to put additional pressure in that top lane. So you can start to close down on top of this Tompkins that you're not necessarily having a tremendous amount of luck locking down. That being said, uh, you know, Aatrox is still winning the 1v1, so you don't necessarily need to affect that lane immediately. You can just look to apply your pressure somewhere else. You know, maybe contest for a neutral objective. There's a dragon up right now. Um, not necessarily a dragon that I think uh, is going to mean much for either team right now, um, but still something that both teams are going to want to play around is spot pressure. Still pretty good here for the side of North Carol. Sorry, North Central College, even despite the gank. And again, so long as Lyros is mounted on that that rel, it is difficult for North Central College to just pick a fight of their choosing just because the counter engage there from the rel is so strong. Puppy Cat and Omana likely to be backing here soon. Dragank's waiting in this bot lane again, so Sam Houston looking to try and set something up. They know there's a dragon to come in play here soon. They can get pacing to get it, but the difficulty is going to be trying to find the engage on their terms. Especially when you have Damia who can at least teleport to Puppy Cat. Maybe dying here. Lawarden going to grab him. He's going to get stunned up. This should just be Puppy Cat going down. Quick pick up there for North Central College. And now this should just be the tempo they need to go over and grab the dragon. So Sam Houston getting a little bit out rotated right now. Not much in the way of effective ganks for Sam Houston. Yes, they did get the kill on the bot lane. But right now the pacing going where it needs to for Sam Houston. Especially the timing. So now they can go ahead and pick up this dragon. There's going to be Hextech Drake. Dragon's is going to get ulted up by Scuttle just for good measure. So the way, sorry, the Dragon going the way of North Central College. And a good pickup there. Good use of pressure. Good use of roaming. Making sure that Lawarden was able to get Nico the tempo. Not only to shove the way, but getting the kill on the Puppy Cat gave them access to the Dragon. So great play there. And, you know, we did talk about some of their early struggles with this Aatrox. But Damia, nobody told him that. As he's starting to run away with his top lane matchup. Three kills so far and well on his way to completing that first item now scuttled up coming back into the bot lane and both of them level six they could look for a fight but it would be difficult with rel having six herself it would be difficult to find that fight good counter engage there but damia gonna be the very happy recipient of this going to get a couple of turret plates going to deny a bunch of the gold away from texas texas a make sure that he's losing some of the experience and some of what he needs to try and get back at this matchup and the warden Sorry, not the Warden. Scuttlediff waiting here. Puppy Cat doesn't have Flash yet. Is going to dodge the, the root and going to dodge the hook for now, meeting up with Dragank. So we'll be fine for now. But many way pushing away from him, though, not necessarily where he wants that. Scuttlediff going to push the way back out, though. So Puppy Cat at least has that to work with. The wave will be coming back towards the tower. 
And Sam Houston right now, they want to be trying, at least from what I can tell, they want to be trying to, trying to find a response gank in one of these lanes. You can't necessarily look top lane right now because it is very difficult to beat the Aatrox, and that state does have the Gore Drinker. You know, not necessarily have the completed boots, but it doesn't matter even on the 2v1. He pops ult. You know, he's already two levels up over Texas A, so very difficult to try and make something happen there. So really what they want to try and do is make... Get an effective gank in the mid lane. Is Lil Warden going to knock Tex A up? Domina going to follow in. So it's two ults blown there on top of Lil Warden eating tower shots. The great help popped by Texas A is going to live through that one, but should not get closer. He will die. He is within auto range. Is Nautilus still winning the top wings too? Oh, Puppy Cat. No ward. Is going to get caught out here. Gets hooked up. And now the Warren just going to be following up right on top of the Puppy Cat. Trying to flash out. Is going to eat the ultimate and not going to be able to go anywhere. No, takes the flash cone over. And Domia trying to follow over. Texas Eye swallows up Puppy Cat. And Drake Inks waiting to help there. Zodiac and Lyra, though, they want to, they fancy a fight in the bot lane. Not going to be able to do so. The refinery going to jump out with the flash. And Sam Houston having to blow some key summoner spells there across the board. Or at least some ultimates trying to get to safety. Most importantly, though, Texas A didn't blow flash because he didn't have it. Drake Inks didn't blow flash trying to follow up. The only one that had to blow flash there was Puppy Cat. Just walking to that bush with no ward and going to be punished for it, not only just with time, but losing a lot of this farm and XP in the mid lane. And right now, North Central College well in control of this game. The pacing has been exactly where it needs to be for a team that is largely relying on scaling. Refinery may be caught here, but no, going to make it back underneath the turret. Sam Houston not able to convert on that kill. Lyra was just a little late to the party, so no additional follow-up there, but still good damage, forcing the NCC ADC out of the lane. That's a mouthful as Texas A. Siding wants to fight with Damia again, but this is just not a trade that you win. It's very difficult to fight when you have no completed item, and Damia with that Gore Drinker just able to take trades all day long. Now we're starting to see him be able to roam, can start to look to affect this mid lane, even look for a Herald play. Only two minutes left, though, before plates go down. They're going to need to act fast if they want to make that play happen. Another dragon coming up at about a minute 24. It's going to be an Ocean Drake. So good pick up there for this NCC squad if they want to try and contest Sam Houston in the late game. And that is really what you're looking for for Sam Houston is you're waiting for that 24, 25 minute mark where you start to see the Zeri and you start to see the Victor come online. Is Scuttled is going to land a hook right now. He's immediately going to cleanse out of it, but still going to get knocked up. Dragon's waiting. What else can they do? Is it's going to be a full party in the bot lane? Sam Houston, they want to try and fight right now. They want to try and even it up. The first one's going to be falling is the Warden. And Sam Houston, what else can they get? Refinery trying to get out. Scuttled is going to have ultimate placed on top of him though. But now the Nico's here, and now the party's about to officially be over. NCC, they're going to grab another one. Zedap kills Drake Ganks in that bot lane. Sam Houston in a fight that they were trying to pick. Get it turned back on top of them. It's a one for three in the end as Texas A dropped in that top lane. And Sam Houston, now they're starting to get on the back foot. It's 19 to 22,000 in gold. So NCC starting to build up a little bit of a lead for themselves. And that surely should be the Dragon going their way. 20 seconds on that objective. The Warden already making their way down. And Sam Houston just trying to ride out this rough early game. Just trying to make it to that point where you can get the Victor in this area online. Because at this point, that's your win condition, right? You're trying to buy additional time for these carries to get strong. To get their items. And start to stack some of these kills. Sam Houston, a traditionally patient team. A traditionally strategic team. Willing to give some early sacrifices, give some early objectives in order for that late game payoff. But all the games they've played so far, of course, it is early in the season. This will be the third game that they've played thus far. This is the roughest state that they've been in in terms of trying to fight back. Is Domia going to go ahead and make his way towards the top lane? Does still have the teleport. It is unleashed now, so can make his way in that bot lane if he so chooses. Which it should be. I can't remember if it's 14 or 15 minutes, but the teleport either way to get down in that bot lane. But there should be no contest here from Sam Houston. This should just be the Ocean Drake going the way of NCC, and it is going to do so. Drake looking for a moment like maybe he wanted to pop over the wall and steal it, but just deciding not worth it. And Lyros going to face check this right now. The Warden waiting in the wings, though, so this wouldn't be a fight that they win. Who's going to land on top of Lyros Tome? With a follow-up there, the Warden going to ult on top of it, and Zodiac going to be the first to fall. Lyros going to get out. Drake Ganks here is going to ult on top of it. How can they trade to the turret doing work? It's going to be the only for Drake Inks. He could get one. Skeletiff going down. Let's see what else he can get. Meanwhile, on the top lane, no action all around. Texas A trying to swallow, trying to survive this Aatrox. Two levels up, though, with him having Gore Drinker. And no response from Texas A on the items. Just very difficult to survive. 
manages to get underneath the turret, though. And Sam Houston, again, just trying to weather this early mid-game right now. But objective bonus is already turned on, so Sam Houston, they're going to have to start looking for ways to get back in this. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a difficult spot for them to be right now because the one thing that they didn't want was that Aatrox getting strong. You know, ne ne not necessarily the best champion in terms of top lane champions to have, but definitely not a champion that you want to get kills. As Dragon sitting on a ward, not sure why he was standing there. Like he's going to run down. Skeletif waiting on hook. It should just be the hook landing on top of him. Puppy Cat just going to get there just in time to see the jungler fall. And meanwhile, Dalmia, no remorse in that top lane. No willingness to let him go. Auto attack is all it takes. And Texas A going to drop again. And no one has any answers for Dalmia in that top lane. He's just been left to his own devices. And it's two turrets going down. Sam Houston. Now going to have to start trying to claw the way back into this one. But it's so difficult to do so. Two dragons. And about a 6k gold lead. Just a little less than a 6k gold lead for North Central College right now. An excellent execution on their draft strategy. Just looking for these early team fights. And utilizing the power that they have. Especially with that Aatrox who's now going to be very difficult to stop at a side lane. And that was something that we didn't get the chance to discuss because of the Riot client choosing to go spaghetti mode was... You know, Aatrox is an effective split pusher if he is given the resources and given the gold and the items to do so. And you're looking on Sam Houston, there's not really anybody that's going to be able to contest him, at least for a while. I mean, the only one that you're looking at is maybe Victor if he has protection, someone's shadowing him. But right now, nowhere near able to become that side lane put, uh, split push threat, even if he wanted to. So Sam Houston, they're just going to have to play patient right now. They're going to have to bide their time. And look for some openings. Try and pick off a couple of these gold bounty members on the side of North Central College, specifically that Aatrox. 500 gold getting put on top of Puppy Cat or on top of Zodiac goes a long way to get you back in this game. And for Sam Houston, this isn't a great spot to be in, but you do have a number of ways to still contest in this game. It's not over by any means. But it's going to start by getting some of this shut down and getting some neutral objectives in their pocket. Start getting some of this standing gold across the map. Start getting some of these turrets. Start getting some of that bonus gold and get themselves back in this game. But if you're North Central College, all you have to do is just keep doing what you've been doing. Just leave Domina in the side lane against Texas A. Just provide some jungling coverage for him just to make sure that he doesn't get three-man, four-man ganked. And then just continue to allow... Nico to Rome with that three-man death squad with Refinery and Scuttle Diff. Damia has the ward over the wall. Texas Eye going to walk over that one. Manages to get out with his life. But Damia has ult. So he can take that fight anytime he wants to. It's going to be very difficult for Sam Houston to fight him right now. And again, and the other thing too, the North Central College, they have so many wards inside this Sam Houston jungle. So very difficult for them to even try and make these plays. If you're talking about making a play to try and get some of the shutdown gold on Damia to try and make sure that you can try and get yourself back in this game. Maybe even try to get in on a Zodiac with a fight, but it's, how do you do that when you have so many wards that are just littered throughout your jungle and NCC can just see you from wherever you're coming? So, and right now, this this jungle quadrant does not belong to Sam Houston. Dragang's just trying to poke some of these members of this NCC squad out just to see if they can get anything, but right now it's just not happening. And across the board, you're seeing leads, a massive CS lead for that top laner of NCC. Domia, 136 to 96. CS leads across the board in most of those roles. The only exception is mid lane. Sam Houston do have Victor with that first item, has the boots complete, so he's going to be able to start building on some of these second, third items. But they need to win a team fight, need to get some of this gold, and they need to start knocking down some of these structures. Because right now, NCC, they're going to continue funneling this gold on Adamia. They know that's their mid lane, sorry, their mid game insurance. Dragon coming up in 15 seconds. Sam Houston. This is not maybe necessarily a fight you want to take, but if you can get a pick, it would be good at least to start it off. But North, in, sorry, North Central College right now, they're in a very, very good spot to dictate the pace of this and get this Dragon. And Sam Houston, they do have to fight for this because if they don't, they are going to be on Dragon Point. I'm going to be forced to flash out, though, but at what cost? Sam Houston using time in the bot lane, but not going to be able to contest for Dragon. It's just going to go down. So North Central College, that's now a pain point. They now have the ability to force dragons for the rest of this game. I mean, Sam Houston, they're now forced to respond to him every single time there's a dragon from this point on unless they just choose to give up the dragon soul, which given the pacing of this game, given the way that North Central College has played, maybe not necessarily something you want to do. So Sam Houston, they're going to have to find ways back in this game. What I do particularly like is that 
Damian knows that he's going to be the focal point of this game, and Damian knows that it's likely going to be very difficult for Sam Houston to shut him down, but if it if they do manage to do so, it's going to be through the way of multiple members. And so buying that death stance to trade to get additional health while you're fighting, you know, trading on the multiple members of Sam Houston if you are getting ganked and you are getting collapsed on, an excellent pickup there. See what else he decides to build. There are a number of options that he can go for. Obviously, Hole Breaker, maybe not necessarily something you'd want to put on an Aatrox this fed right now, but it also wouldn't be a terrible item, especially if you're going to have him split. This is Hell's going to get popped right here. And Lyro's likely just going to go down here, forced to flash out. And Sam Houston blowing a couple of bolts. And North Central College, they've caught this Herald. They're going to look for a dive here. Is Zodiac going to get caught up? Going to get hooked. Tries to blow the Quins, but it's not enough. The Eagle ulti on top of it. Turk going to go down. Sam Houston trying to get out of this one. Drake Gates pops the ulti, but it's going to be a couple of flashes put on top of him. Can he survive? No. Sam Houston, they're trying to trade underneath the turret. They're low health bars. Lyra's toe manages to trade on the warden, but what else can they get? Damia underneath the turret has popped the ult, so he doesn't have it to live. Sam Houston, they get one, but no, it's not enough. North Central College, they get two. Puppy Cat seeing what he can, sorry, seeing what she can get done. Not enough though right now. So the rest of this North Central College team, they're going to be forced to get out. Not necessarily the greatest dive that you've ever seen, but they got what they wanted. They got the turret and they got a couple of kills. Yes, they do trade two for three in the end, but money's still going over to the pocket. Great use of the Herald and that... That gold lead now, about seven and a half thousand for Sam Houston. Sorry, roughly seven thousand. I never look at the side numbers after the seven thousand, but <laughs> a lot of gold is a lot of gold is the lead. And your Central Call is going to start to make that one stick. And Dalmia six one and one on this Aatrox. It is now officially a problem on the Rift. Sam Houston just trying to hold on to what they can of their base. Again, just trying to find time for these carries to get strong right now. Still only one item on the victor. Trinity Force complete for Zodiac, trying to get a couple of these other items finished, but just nothing to do right now because North Central College is in control of this game. You see Dragonx already just trying to go out there and get as much jungle farm as he can before it's denied, just trying to pick up some of that gold. Again, just trying to keep themselves in this game. Oh, yeah, excellent usage of that Aatrox again. And it's it's hard because when you're critical of a pick like that, obviously you're not necessarily hoping that it doesn't succeed, but you're trying to be realistic about the weaknesses that a champion has. And Aatrox is, a, again, one of those champions that we've seen a lot, especially a lot of pro play between the LCS and the LCK and even the LEC, where Aatrox has played just not been a tremendously impressive champion, especially given the picks that it's been played into. But credit where credit is due, Domia has made it work. And... Given time in that top lane in the 1v1 without a whole lot of interference has just made a Texas A suffer for playing this Tom Kens does not necessarily have a lot of damage. Again, is that more bruisery utility comp champion that has just not been able to get off the ground yet? And again, really no item completed for Texas A either. You have a Bramble Vest. You've got the Balmy Cinder. So your bargain bin shopping there just trying to complete your first item, just trying to survive. The individual damage profiles coming out here from North Central College, but again, with such a good mix of damage, it's very difficult to do so. And Puppy Cat likely just going to die here. Domia does have the ulti. He's going to pop it right now, landing on top of Puppy Cat, trying to get the stun, trying to get out of here. But one more Q is going to do it. Domia just going to solo Puppy Cat in that top lane, caught backing. And now 50 seconds onto the Drake. Puppy Cat will respawn just in time to run about the halfway mark to get there, but Sam Houston likely not going to be in a position to contest this dragon. Again, just for the state of the map and with all of these lanes pushing there for the side of North Central College, it's going to be very difficult for them to find their way into the pit. So you have to think it's going to be a flank ward or it's going to be, have to be them getting set up first. As seeing North Central College, do they want to reset before they start this dragon though? It's possible that they might want to try it and undercut Sam Houston's tempo because they know that Sam Houston's going to have to be there first if they want to contest for it. Drake Inks might get caught here. It's going to get ulti by the Warden. It's just going to die here, though. So this is going to be Sam Houston juggler going down. So now Sam Houston not in any way, shape, or form going to be able to contest this dragon. So the fourth dragon just going to go over to North Central College. So Sam Houston not even going to be able to trade anything across the map. Not going to be able to get any of these structures. No Baron they can play for. They don't have the damage. This really is just a clean sweep by North Central College so far. All four dragons really uncontested, been in a great spot. 
And when you're playing against a team like Sam Houston that's very, very patient and is willing to make sacrifices and usually plays so cleanly, it's very difficult for Sam Houston this position to be in. And North Central College are doing exactly what they need to do, punishing some of these later scaling champions on the side of Sam Houston, making sure that they're focusing the members that take a long time to come online, ganking lanes that they know are playing weak side, giving their top laner a winning matchup. And overall, just having great command of the map, stringing Sam Houston more or less along wherever they want them to, pulling them across the map between top and bot lane plays. But most importantly, limiting the playmakers there, limiting Zodiac, limiting Puppycat, making sure that there's nothing that they can get, no way that they can get back in the game. And so now it's up to NCC to close out this game cleanly. Likely going to do so via the Baron. Looks like they're trying to set up to get picks, though. They're clearing out all this vision that Sam Houston has set. All these very shallow wards there for Sam Houston. Just not able to get much farther. And to Start up the Baron now. Of course, they can choose to turn this. So likely trying to bait Sam Houston in if they even want to contest for this. It's not a fast Baron right now, though. Sivir doesn't have, you know, three, four items yet. So this isn't just going to get shredded. But nonetheless, if Sam Houston's not even going to contest... It's not even going to matter, so they're just choosing to try and wait this out, just trying to buy time. And so now it's going to be up to North Central College to try and close with this Baron. Sam Houston, can they hold on just a couple minutes longer? Can they hold on long enough for their carries to get a couple more items? Zedab's trying to run through right now. Scuttledip going to manage to land the hook on top of Lyros Tome. That was disgusting. A long-range hook refinery. Low health there, so likely just going... To let the ADC back and just slowly siege this mid lane. But Sam Houston, one thing they do have in their pocket is wave clear between the Zeri and between the Victor. They can clear a lot of these minions pretty quickly. And obviously with mana in Puppy Cat's pocket has the ability to just continue to do so even with pushing supers. Domi is going to walk away with the blue buff. So a denial from Sam Houston. A denial specifically away from Puppy Cat who would have liked to have had that blue buff especially given the siege that's about to come out from North Central College. Alright, so for Sam Houston, their, their name of the game for the next couple of minutes is to stall out this Baron. They need to hold on to as much of their structure as they possibly can. Try not to lose these inhibitor turrets. And specifically, do not get drawn in any fights outside of your base. Right now, the jungle is a scary, scary place to be. And if your name is Puppy Cat, Zodiac, or Texas A, you do not want to be going out there because there's so much CC just waiting for you. And with the speed that this squad can just clear through the map, if you're in a side lane for any more than five seconds and you don't see somebody, you're likely already dead. So Sam Houston, they need to hold on for a couple minutes, wait out this Baron, hold on to their structures, give... Oh, Texas A, this is unfortunate. They know he's there. He's not going to be able to get out of this. Scuttle's going to land the hook. Texas Ab should... Sorry, Zed Ab should be able to get this. Lewarden, they might want to donate the kill. Texas A flashed out. Puppy Cat's starting to hurt now a little bit, though, but a couple minutes left on this Baron, so they need to try and hold on. Domia in that top lane, though, so is going to be coming with a massive minion wave and is going to be Baroned up. Again, all five members of this squad have it, so they can just choose to rotate around the map and apply pressure across all these different points of the base. The Dragon appears to be trying to go in the top lane to answer this. Sam Houston afraid to step too close. Health bar starting to get a little bit low. Really the only one that can step up sort of safely is Texas A. Dragonx forced to flash out in that top lane. A bunch of minions with superpower there. Not going to be something he's going to want to fight. And Domia is going to just be left to take that top lane turret. Sam Houston may have to sacrifice again. Not two or so minutes left on this Baron. Now what can else... Sorry, what else can North Central College get? This is surely going to be the first inhibitor going down. It's going to be a question of whether or not they can get the one in the bot lane. Dragonx... Not choosing to take that E in because he knows exactly what's going to happen if he does. Dummy's just going to turn around and kill him. So that's one inhibitor down, two. But now Lyra's deciding that they want to go. Oh, Sam Houston trying to fight. Full team fight breaking out. What else can they do? Damage bars going to start stacking for North Central College. And that's two members down. Double kill for this Sivir. What else can they get? Domia 1v2 and Zodiac trying to buy time. Low help with the Warren's going to hit on top of him. He's going to go down. Scuttledip's going to get himself a kill. Lyra's tome. The only remaining member of Sam Houston. He's surely going to fall. Scuttledip going to hit on top of that. It's an ace for North Central College. And the first match going to be going their way. They played it so incredibly cleanly. Allowing their top lane to get that winning matchup. Allowing that 1v1 to happen. And developing the team fight from there. And as the base starts to crumble. And Sam Houston Wash is going to have to make some adjustments in the second game. North Central College. 
A very, very impressive first performance, but we'll see what happens in game number two.